new and epic MMORPG with play to earn components. Well, today I'm super excited to be talking about Raven Dawn Eternal. I had my eye on this project for a long time, uh, but now I'm here to talk about it with you guys, and I'm gonna show you guys a preview of this game here today in this video. But before we do that, make sure to do our research, figure out if this project is for you. So we're gonna go over the website, talk about how you guys can be involved, we'll talk about the lands, we'll talk about their exciting roadmap, and of course, I'm gonna show you guys what this game looks like. Again, this is just a preview of it, but I do think it's super exciting, and I just can't wait to get into it right now, Raven Dawn Eternal. Here on the website at ravendawneternal.com. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check this out yourself. I actually really like uh, their website. I think they laid it out really well. Of course, with their little uh, roadmap and timeline there. So we'll go over uh, as much as the website as possible. Check out the white paper. Uh, they do have a giveaway, so we'll talk about that. But this is Raven Dawn. Again, I've been following this project for a while, I think it's super exciting. I'm a huge gamer, I play a lot of MMORPGs. So when I heard about this uh, being played earn on blockchain, I thought it was super exciting. Uh, they've done some live streams and some exciting things that I tuned into. So uh, I'm hopefully you guys will think this is awesome as well. So this has been five years in development. So it's been a while. They really want to make sure that they bring uh, a quality game to you guys. They're very passionate gamers themselves. Uh, they're a full-fledged company with over 50 employees. They're a docs team. Uh, and they're really committed, uh, like I said, to giving you uh, a great uh, experience. And I do think that they have done so. So we'll definitely uh, talk a little bit more about the game itself. Uh, they actually even raised uh, funding in their seed round of like $3 million. Uh, so I think that's great. Uh, but here's the website, uh, ravendawneternal.com. So as you can see, uh, they've made progress, obviously, in those five years. Prototype, staff, alpha, pre-alpha, alpha, and then closed beta. They're kind of in between uh, the alpha, but we'll check out the full roadmap in a second. Uh, they do have a token powering this whole entire ecosystem, the Sunbreak token. We'll talk about that. Uh, it'll be available as soon as Sunbreak token. The contract address will be available as soon as the contract, as soon as the token um, is released. So watch out for that. Uh, but here is some uh, basic introduction. Uh, on the game and then we'll obviously talk about uh the land so uh again i'm not gonna go over through everything there is a lot again this mrpg think about any other big mrpg out there world of warcraft final fantasy lots of lots of things involved with it i'll just kind of highlight some things but i do in the future want to take a deep dive on each one of these uh so unique class builder system no more locking your character rigid and single uh class path for your entire adventure if you think about games like World of Warcraft or any of that out there, you have to pick like a standard warrior, paladin, healer. Uh, but this, they're very uh, open uh, to uh, everything that you're doing. They want to make it so that your class that you play uh, is really something special, really something that you customize on a definitely replayability and uh, really makes you unique in their world. Uh, so three different archetypes, customizable ability points, etc. Uh, Raven cards. Uh, and I actually have some preview of Raven cards. Uh, we'll look through some uh, today, but our fully illustrated NFT cards that players can collect, trade, and also use in-game to further customize your character's playstyle. Uh, each Raven card has a different impact on your character and your character's ability. Every creature in the world of Raven card has its own card and ability as well. So that's kind of cool. Again, if you're familiar with, uh, obviously, NFTs being a part of this is awesome. Obviously, that's the, the benefit of being on the blockchain. Uh, but like this, like I said, this game is incorporating a lot of cool ideas um, from uh, a lot of different games all into one. Uh, crafting, gathering, same RPG. They want to keep you into it. Uh, so definitely different ways to, whether that's uh, create uh, equipment or uh, do things like fishing. Uh, it's definitely going to keep you guys exciting. And they also have ships and wagons to uh, kind of get around um, the world. So uh, this is parts cool because like I said, when we always talk about games and how popular they're going to be, the fact that this is free to earn, right? So uh, I think it's awesome that uh, everyone can create a character, play and start earning without spending a dollar. I think this is really going to be one of the fundamental reasons this game is going to be successful because of the fact that, hey, you don't have to put anything down. You could just try it out, see for yourself uh, and be in the world. And so I think that there's going to be uh, tons of activity. I think there's lots of ways that um, you could be involved without ever having to, um, you know, 
spend any money. And I think that's great if you think about other games out there that are um, free to play. Uh, people spend a lot of time in them, like uh, Fortnite, uh, League of Legends, things like that, where um, you play those games, they're free, uh, but you don't earn in them. So I think having a game that's uh, massively multiplayer and you could earn, I think is good, lowering the bar barrier to entry, I think is great. Uh, and so the question is, how will you earn? Trade packs, crafting, PV and PVP, quests, world puzzles, literally something for everyone. Uh, invest and earn. You can invest if you would like. Uh, estates, uh, faster production. So it's like, you don't have to. It's not like uh, pay to win. It's just like uh, some as a convenience. Like if you want to, uh, you know, have a jump start on things that you're doing, make things faster, maybe not enough time, etc. There are ways that if you, or if you just really believe in this and you want to have access to these things, you can. So literally something for everyone. A state allows users to produce products at a faster rate, allowing for them to the creation of trade packs or the sale of goods. They can be rented out with our land renting system, allowing vest investors who do not wish to play to rent their lands to players. Which not play to rent a plant pair. This allows investors to earn additional pass income, allows pairs to use additional land. So the idea is that even if you don't want to play the game, but you just believe in the idea of it, uh, I think that's an uh, awesome way and an awesome option for you guys. So again, lots of ways to be involved in the project. Even if you don't want to play the game, you just think that, hey, as a crypto project, as a blockchain project, this is a good idea. I know a lot of people are going to be playing it. I want to invest. How do I get in without having to actually be in it um, and play it? So, Or you could do both. You could play it and you can invest it. Gold. Earn real world dollars through the Sunbreak token. Like I said, not out yet, but it's a great way to be involved. You just can sell Sunbreak tokens for real world dollars to use it in game various ways. Like I said, there's lots of free to play games out there, but free to earn, uh, there's not. And I think that's definitely going to give people a reason to um, play and be interested in it because there's, hey, I could play a game, have fun, and earn money. I think that has a lot of potential. Sell trade packs for gold. Can be formed by packaging nearly any product in the Raven Dawn world. Trade packs can be transported around the game world and sold on algorithm-based real-world supply. Passively earn Sunbreak tokens. Owner states with a global pool of 50% of all uh, gold produced from the trade packs. Passively earning sun tokens from their lands. So, cool. Uh, and so, that's that. Now we can jump into the lands, which I think is super exciting. I definitely want to get my hands uh, on get my hands on some lands. Yes. Um, so and they have different options, right? So um, the small estate. So round one will be a fifty percent discount to reward early investors. Own a piece of Raven Dawn, even on a limited budget. You can still make part of Raven Dawn just forever. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the whitelist and then the kind of the perks um, of them. If you click on it, it shows this modal. So. Um, 100 tiles, size 10 by 10, 59 production tiles, pilgrim, discord tile and badge. So that's cool that you get like uh, real world uh, or out of game uh, titles. Up to two small rooms, one trade pack priming, 50% of all player earned currency based on the production tiles. So that's that. Uh, and then this is a small estate. And then of course, uh, there's the, so you can see them all here, medium, large, stronghold, fort. So here's a sample of what it, it's uh, gonna look like, kind of like the conceptual art. Oh. Let me click these. Uh, medium, uh, and then the perks of it. Essentially, so this is 300, and then the perks are, essentially what this is going to be, it's every time it gets bigger, it's going to be like um, more tiles, more production, uh, and then kind of like different badges and different things. So like if you actually highlight on them, or some of them have information, like what is production tiles? Measurement of productive or capable of land. Fruits, vegetables, uh, producing fruits, vegetables, livestock, lumber, and more. Tiles on medium, large, stronghold forks, castle proofs, high yield crops, and livestock. Uh, so stamina and durability recharging, recharge of workers, MOA, ships, regenerating their stamina faster, and up to three rooms. Um, is uh, our additional benefits to your character increase combat ability, increase uh, things and more. So I guess obviously more rooms the better. The bigger the house, the better. You kind of get the concept. Uh, large estate, 1,500. Um, and then again, larger, more production tiles, better title. Uh, those have this, uh, like the recharging. And then trade pack. Trade pack doubles its gold yield, allowing you to earn additional SPT for a lower amount of resource consumed, increasing overall profit generation. That's cool. And you also get an alpha key. Uh, stronghold. 7,500, uh, obviously, uh, all good title, more uh, perks, uh, and then um, five times alpha key, so you can invite your friends. Then Fort, the largest one, 30,000, um, 625 tiles, perks up for up to 10 members. This is like if you have 
a guild or something like that, right? Like if you have been a part of like a guild in any one of these MMORPGs, you're like, hey, uh, I mean, we're going to invest as a guild and get this. We're going to have all in the alpha again as early as possible, have the best possible um, uh, profit generation, and really set them up uh, for the future, uh, I think is a good idea. Like I said, they're earning. They get this is half off uh, during round one. It's a good investment. I mean, again, not financial advice, but I mean, they're seeing things. If they're producing things, you never know. Obviously, if they're getting uh, the tokens and exchange for real world, I, I think that uh, my estimation is they could probably make 30000 back uh, in a short amount of time. Uh, oh, I forgot to show it. So, large estate looks cool. Stronghold looks cool. I love the artwork. I think they've done a really good job. And then the fort, uh, awesome. Um, so, cool. And then, like I said, if you guys want to check this out, you guys can. Next evolution in plate earned gaming, I'll, I'll jump in there and show it. Disruptive blockchain based top down MRG experience has been developed over the last five years. I said that. Uh, lovable and nostalgic art style. So if you guys want to check it out, I love all the uh, like the detail into each one of them. Uh, definitely has like this retro feel, which I think is awesome. Uh, each of the characters looks super unique. Uh, and like I said, I think it's really cool. And for me, uh, I like playing a lot, a lot of these games uh, already. I think it has a classic look to it and something that's definitely going to keep you guys uh, engaged. Uh, for a while so if you guys are interested subscribe to the newsletter go to discord community explore the raven dawn universe we will uh here's the white paper if you guys want to you can even subscribe to the email um if you guys are interested uh as well uh if you guys want to check out the land uh whitelist you guys can uh so uh the land sale application is a, will be available on april 16th so it's been live for over a week now the form will allow you to share why you are fit to become a settler of the Raven Dawn and own a piece of the world forever. So, uh, whitelist form is now live. Register a new account and fill out the form. Uh, other ways to uh, additional listing um, Discord interaction, active on Discord, referral, uh, community by inviting 50 authentic users, uh, fan arts, video creation, uh, NFT and whitelist giveaway. Uh, they do have a whitelist giveaway going on right now $60,000 in NFT, Fort NFT, plus 100 whitelist giveaways so enter the giveaway if you guys are interested uh in this uh you guys can check it out it's on the, it's a gleam io link uh for you guys to check out uh if you guys uh want to uh seven days left i think it's really awesome and like i said it's an awesome sixty thousand nft giveaway i think it's a uh, really cool you just have to we've done gleam on this channel so you guys are familiar with it they've over 50 567,000 entries. A lot of people are excited about this. I think that's an understatement. So definitely check it out if you guys are interested uh, in this. They also have a white paper um, that uh, kind of goes through all these different things. Uh, and like I said, I do think this is really exciting. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, it is powered by Polygon. I think that's awesome. I talk about Polygon a lot. I think that's really great. I mean, if you're looking for a new project in 2022, looking to get into it from different ones, like they have a token power in this ecosystem, they have NFTs, they have a fun game behind it, definitely uh, check this out. Uh, like I said, lots of ways to be involved. Obviously, join the Discord. Obviously, follow them on the website. Definitely sign up for the whitelist if you guys are interested. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, uh, definitely do your research. They, if you love MRGs, if you love games, uh, if you love playing earning, uh, definitely check it out. I'm not going to go through all this. It's definitely uh, very uh, in-depth. They talk about like the combat cycle. They talk about how to land, how that works, crafting equipment, compensation, world events, repairing equipment, how the Raven cards work, uh, trading cycle worker cycle like they have already even though it's still like uh like an alpha phase they really have all the concepts down they really took all the great things from other great games and evolved it and obviously used the blockchain to uh, improve on that. So let me know what you guys think about this. I'm going to jump into uh, I'm gonna jump into the uh, preview really soon. But again, you guys are still early on this. Like I said, uh, they're still in alpha. The token hasn't released yet. You can still get NFTs at a good price. Join the whitelist uh, application. Uh, that 50% discount is really awesome. And like I said, I think the NFTs and value uh, is going to pertain. Like if you think about some MMOs that have been out for like 10 plus years, people, you know, if you were early on in those games and you got some of the most unique items, I definitely think that uh, that would have paid off. So uh, like I said, join the great community. Think about uh, how you're going to spend your time in Raven Dawn because there's definitely uh, a lot of different uh, ways to get involved with it. And I'm going to keep you guys updated on this. But um, I do think that 
they are going to come up with a lot more things. There's a huge ecosystem. Uh, Ravenon, they're building this whole entire world. Uh, and I just can't wait to learn more about this. Uh, this is the MMORPG aspect of it. But I do think that they have plans in the future to do a lot more. So getting in early in the Raving Dawn universe is definitely uh, uh, going to be uh, game changing. So uh, I'm going to jump into the demo now. Uh, preview, uh, preview, not demo, all alpha preview. Uh, hopefully you guys will like it. Um, stick around uh, towards the end because I'll have more information uh, on joining the whitelist. So uh, let's go. So here we are uh, in the Raven Dawn uh, Eternal preview. Uh, again, I just logged in and I was lucky enough to be able to get into the preview. So I'm going to create a character. I haven't even done that yet. Um, so like I said, lots of customization. I'm going to go through all of this today, but I think it's really cool. It's like your archetype. You have warfare, archery, uh, protection, shadow, and it's really cool. They could actually they have a little uh, video right here at the bottom right corner that kind of shows how this all works. Uh, protection, holy, wizardry, spiritual, and witchcraft. So really, depending on what you like uh, and kind of like your play style, uh, I think it's really cool how they show off and kind of guide you along the way. They show off some of the abilities, uh, which you guys can check out uh, if you guys want to. So if you really like like a mage class, you want to play range, that's your play style, uh, definitely check it out. And of course, you can make multiple characters if you guys are interested um, in this. Uh, let's check out... Uh, what should I be? So maybe let's try let's try an archer. I think archer would be pretty cool to to check out with you guys. Um, they have some great passives, really cool. Increase your movement speed by six percent. We love that. All right, so let's go. Uh, so you can check your gender. I am glorious. Glorious the archer. Connecting to server. And there I am. Like I said, just like that, I'm ready inside the game. And again, this is a preview. Uh, none, of, none of this is all final. I mean, I don't know it's all final, obviously. Uh, I just want to say that this could potentially be different than your experience. Uh, so you move around. Uh, you press F to interact. And you jump in. Okay, and then there, there's my mom. So you could like right click with stuff, um, interact. And again, a part of it being MORPG, Obviously has an RPG component. They're building this story. They're building this world. About time. The sun's been out. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, it's my birthday. We thought about waking you, but decided to let you sleep in a bit. So it's cool that there's some like questions and dialogue uh, and maybe potentially decision making. Yep, see? Uh, so that's cool. Like I said, definitely feel like you're a part of this world and potentially some of your answers are going to uh, affect how the game plays out, how your character gets built, etc. Uh, but definitely can make feel like it's always cool to have uh, options on what you're doing uh, within this. Uh, and just for the sake of time, I'm going to go through uh, this quickly. So cool. And then, so if you guys are familiar with any MORPG, top left corner shows your health, and I'm guessing that's your mana. Top right is like the mini map, and then there's some quests that you are uh, planning to do. And then it looks like everything is highlighted. Sorry, I'm going to totally be a, a son and just ignore my dad as I walk out. Um, I'm old enough. All right, so then it shows you arrows where you need to go and things like that. Again, uh, this game, I love the artwork. Uh, I think that a lot of people are going to dig this. A lot of games out there are like pixelated uh, and I think that's really awesome. I was like, is that a character? Um, and it kind of reminds me of like Stardew Valley, uh, which a lot of people uh, actually really love and, and play. And it like, gives me this like old school feel. Uh, so go out the front door and turn south to the neighbor's shop. All right, I'm here. Oh, it wants me to go to him. So it's kind of cool where they have this, uh, these like visual cues on like where to go. So this guy's like creating stuff. So return home. Oh, there's my dad. I have to talk to him now. A son of mine carrying around his own weapon. You've grown so fast, boy. Now tell me, what do you think of it? Makes me feel powerful. It's amazing. Uh, what time comes that? I could take on anything. I won't. Just watch me. Okay, so they're obviously like, if you're familiar with uh, MORPGs or if you're not, they're essentially walking you through uh, everything, trying to get you used to movement, UI, talking to people, interacting. Uh, here, uh, this is your inventory tab. This is how you can find your bag. Uh, here's your equipped items. Uh, bag keeps all your equipment. 
character stats, uh, statuses on the right side. I actually really like this UI. Uh, really clean, really easy to understand. Uh, so they're essentially saying, hey, I have a bow. So I have my bow. Can I drag this into uh, my weapon? There I can. Um, so now, now it's not in my bag. It's equipped now. Press tab to nearest character. Cool. And right click. Oh, nice. There you go. I think I was in. I just wasn't uh, close. I just think I wasn't close enough. Poor scarecrow. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to. Uh... There you go. Just had to shoot him twice. I think it looks really cool. I'm just. Uh, I think the animations uh, and then the characters. Uh, I actually really like a lot. They have this like timeless old old school feel. Don't worry, Dad. I'll keep hitting these scarecrows till I'm as strong as you. Nice. Does that mean his dad isn't strong at all? Okay, cool. Do I have... good? Yeah, good thing I picked an archer because it doesn't look like I have... Uh, I don't have arrows. I mean, I don't have like... It looks like I have unlimited arrows, which is great. Gather many... Gather how many strawberries you want from the garden boxes. All right, as much as I want. Got it. So you can see the little uh, bar at the bottom, progression bar that I'm interacting with the world and shows that I've collected it. And so the idea is with the, like any MMORPG, eat the birthday cake. Where's my birthday cake? Is it on the table? Oh, it's in my character menu. Got it. Right click to consume. There you go. I ate it. Um, cool. Yeah, like with any MMORPG, they're showing you around the world, letting you do like simple, basic quests, getting familiar with the surroundings. Um, and then obviously, eventually you'll, uh, you know, keep escalating. You'll start with scarecrows and now beetles, and hopefully in the future you'll be fighting epic dragons. Oh jeez. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, these beetles are fast. I don't know why it's so bad. I was just trying to see how much she hit me for. How far can I? I have to be pretty close. They don't hit me for much. <laughs> I think they hit me. Or I'm just regenning like crazy. These bugs never stood a chance. Oh, and then yeah, at the bottom. You could kind of see it. My screen's kind of cut off, but you could see my experience. And it's just saying, oh, here's your spell tree. Uh, you can unlock more spell trees in the future. And you can have different archetypes. You have skill points level, effective level. And you could click on ability. So wind arrow generates to aether. I would like to learn, um, I would like to learn it. Um, so cool. Now I have my abilities. So definitely uh, I'll be able to do more. Oh, skip. Oh. Click the ability on the bar. Press the corresponding hotkey. Cool. I think I need a target. Oh, sorry. There's a target. Oh, there you go. So you can see it. And it has like a different sound. Oh, oh it won't let me hit it anymore. Best birthday ever. Cool. So now it says, use compass to undercover bandits' whereabouts. Click on the compass. Okay, so then they actually like the, the bigger world map. They show that I'm here, and then it's obviously there's a lot of uh, different things. Keep in mind, compasses take some time to recharge before it can be used again. Uh, use compass to uncover bandits' whereabouts. Oh, we're here. Obviously, I'm there. And I just have to go east a bit and then go north a bit. Uh, but it seems like there's a lot that I can uncover. Once if I zoom out? Wow. Okay. There is a ton of 
This is pretty huge. And this is just seems to be just like one area. Obviously, it looks like here I could go in the mountains or something like that. There's like a waterfall here. There's probably a like a dock here where I could actually go on a boat. I actually really like this artwork. Like I, I'm gonna probably keep saying that, but I think it looks cool. It's like a like hand drawn, and uh, yeah, I dig it. Like a real map. Uh, it's cool. You can even this is the character. I should probably click through this. Oh geez, there's so much information here, which is cool. Like I said, MMRPGs, and I think really important is UI. Oh, I think my screen is blocking uh, some of this, but um, there is a uh, yeah at the top. It shows like character professions, trade packs, Raven cards. I don't have any Raven cards, um, and then world map. So cool. And then on the left, it has reputation. I don't think I've unlocked this reputation, outfit, quest log. Uh, looks really cool. So it's all the tasks of this. I like this when the games do this, when they show uh, everything that you've done. And then, yeah, nothing yet. Um, so cool. Oh, and I think, like, did it turn darker? So there's like a day and night cycle? Yeah, I think. It's definitely not 6.08 a.m. where I am at. So, um, wait, where did I? I think this is where I go. So I get the village lookout. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Go home. Go back home with Bandit. Oh, I got a dog. That's cool. At first I thought these were players, but I think they're just um, NPCs, non-playable characters. Go back home with Bandit. All right. Yeah, I kind of like the, the like the story that they're doing. Like it's very, um, you know, you're kind of, you don't really know what's going on in the world and in the story in general, and it's kind of just uh, like leading you all into it. Like there's definitely some mystery on like what's going on, am I dreaming? You know, like little subtle things like that that makes you really wonder what is going on. Oh, did I change how I look like? Okay, what the heck? Customize your outfit. I look really cool all of a sudden. You could customize your character by changing the outfit's colors. Oh, that's cool. Click the numbers. Okay. It's like which part of the outfit you want to change. Try some different looks before you move on. Okay. Oh, wow. That's really cool. So, obviously. So, that changes like the hair and some pieces of the, the thing. Oh, my gosh. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to look so... This is what happens when you let me customize everything. Uh, what is three? Oh, it's just like little accents of it, but really cool. Oh, yeah, def like I said, you definitely get the taste of that your character is going to be unique because of the different all different archetypes, and then also the addition of all the different things that you can do in your talent tree like people will be unlocking different things and then not only will you character act different in combat but how it lo looks like will definitely uh, stand out uh, as well so uh, I, I actually really like that for me I, when i'm playing an mrpg the main reason i play is to really stand out you know kind of shows your accomplishment things like that you know whether it's different weapons that you get or armor things like that i think definitely that's what keeps you in the game is you know showing off your achievement to other players. Uh, you could like have different mounts that you could collect, have different ships, a wagon. So geez, that's awesome. Oh, so if I had, oh cool. Oh, so like select your outfit. So I have this outfit. Like I said, these other ones are not owned. So you probably have to uh, earn them, which is really cool. Like I said, sense of achievement, uh, not only for yourself, but to show off between your friends. And then again, like, um, all these different uh, the looks and things like these look like different bows and stuff like that. Uh, I can't wait. Like look, I really like this one. I could see some of them have like different hats, or this one has a hood. Uh, I think that looks really uh, awesome. So, and again, potentially in the future, uh, they might add uh, obviously more of this, some more character customization. But it's great. Again, you'll never see an MMORPG that you could customize everything like this. All these different four things at different color, different colors. Um, cool. Well, oh, I leveled up from doing that. Hopefully these colors that I, I picked made sense. I feel like I'm going to be blend into all the greenness. 
And again, I'm rushing through the story, but uh, I think it's awesome that they're doing um, all these different things. Um, so they, they're, they're essentially saying, I'm going to be on this long journey. I'm on this long journey ahead. I can't wait to get into it. Uh, obviously, they're giving me potions. Place my potions in the bar. I said, like I said, I think that, um, uh, like, yeah, cool. Like, really easy to use, uh, really friendly UI. Uh, really awesome. Uh, it's super intuitive. Uh, for me, I get, when I play a game, I just want to know exactly what I'm doing. If I have to like question, oh, you just talked about it first. If I have to question, okay, um, what am I doing? Where do I need to go? Uh, then, you know, what does it say? Uh, if I need a question like, where do I need to go? What do I need to do? And I get lost, I'll probably like get disinterested pretty quickly. But again, they've done a good job of fine tuning this uh, introduction, and I definitely would say that that is all due to their experience with game development, five years, obviously probably taking feedback from the community. Um, and like even like it's giving me like subtle hints where like, hey, you need to do this. We don't want you to wander off uh, too far before like it, it started like, like pushing me back uh, to kind of remind me like, hey, you know, we don't want you to keep wandering for five, 10 minutes away and then realize that you were supposed to come back here. Uh, and get it. So gather some flowers in the front yard. Oh, in the front yard. Is this the front yard? Yes. Um, you know, like, I think that's just really important where especially, like, uh, as a new player, you want to make things really easy to you, really understand, get a good concept of the game. Like, it's been 16 minutes, and I felt like I understand what this game is going to be and all the things that I'm looking forward to be doing. Uh, if lost, try the compass. Oh, so it wants me to go there. Oh, geez. No, I don't want to log out. Maybe green wasn't. Maybe green wasn't the best choice. And so I'm going to the cemetery. Please don't tell me what this what it is. Oh. Right. So they're dead. Something happened. Or maybe I was thinking, he said, am I dreaming? Got it. I, I guess he was, because it was his birthday, and he was thinking of maybe happier times, and he was dreaming. So they were probably been dead for a while. Un very unfortunate. So then you're leaving. Essentially you're leaving and going exploring the world. At least you have uh, an awesome dog companion. Uh, I've got a new skill tree, and I, I obviously already know, um, you know, what I'm doing, what I'm getting. Uh, concussion shots stun them. They have all these cool tool tips uh, that make it really easy. Uh, it's already popped up, and there I go. I'm off in the world, and I'm going. Find a way to dock through the northern woods. So I'm going. Whoops, was I supposed to wait for my? He's coming. He's coming. Yeah, and you definitely feel like now there's some like, what's going on? Oh, geez. <laughs> Why did I drink my potion? That's what happened. I got, I got so scared. So you see, so you tab them, and then you can, if you press tab, it switches targets. So the red circle on the bottom shows what it is. I don't know why I'm so close. I'm an archer. Is my dog fighting? Nope, he's, he's just watching. There you go, there you go. Boom. Archer was a good choice. Yeah, they just like ambushed me out of nowhere. But yeah, you're just kind of exploring everything. You're not really sure what's going on. Maybe there's some areas like that you want to, to check out. But let's follow this. Let's stick to the plan. Let's follow the, the, the quest. There's a man. What's going on? If I were you, be out of the next boat to ra out of Raven Dawn, or yeah. So this area is like Ladaria. Like I said, th this I would assume this game is gonna be like really huge. Is this the dock that they want me to go to? Yeah. 
Oh, cool. Oh, what the heck? I'm like literally on a boat and I'm controlling it. I didn't expect that. Wow, I can shoot? Oh, sh so there's going to be ship battles? Sail southeast towards Ravenon. Oh, after Dale's sailing. Okay. Oh, no. Something happened. A shipwreck. What happened here? What the heck? I'm only... 20 minutes in the game and I'm already fighting a Kraken? Oh jeez. Boom. I actually really wasn't expecting this ship at all. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know much MMOs that have something like this. Like a ship battle thing is really cool. Yeah, and then I saw that there's ways that you can improve your ship. Or like get different ships, th things for your ship, whether it's look or upgrades. Jeez. Defeat the sea monster. This is a strong sea monster. I'm not gonna lie. This is a strong sea monster. Wow, I'm so s slow. Oh my goodness. I'm so slow right now. He's gonna take a lot of health. Oh, I get stuck in here. Man, I don't know. What does fate have in store for you? The full Ravenon experience available soon. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to. I wasn't supposed to kill that sea monster. Uh, it's kind of a way for them to end this tutorial. Uh, I thought that was actually an awesome way to end it. That definitely surprised. It surprised me. Oh, my character's not there. Yeah, my character, he's done. So like definitely what I can do, which is actually really cool, is you can actually make another character and try them out i think that's the perfect that's every time if i'm in an mrpg like alpha or beta and i'm excited for the launch one of the main things i'm gonna do is i want to be ready on day one launch to play the character i want to play so for the me that means trying all the different classes seeing the different builds play styles and then on day one i'll have you know i'll be like okay i tried everything this is the one that really stuck out to me this is the one i want to play I thought that was an awesome tutorial. I actually appreciated that there was some sort of ending to it. I felt like I got a really good understanding of the game, the flow of the game, and kind of how everything is uh, kind of laid out. The UI is really easy to use. I, for me, previews and demos, I think that if at the end of it you feel like I want more, I want to see where this is going, uh, then I think they've done a good job. And for me, I think it definitely did that in multiple aspects. I want to know, uh, obviously, where the story is going. What the heck was that sea monster? I wanted to see uh, what Raven Dawn looks like. I want to see the other worlds. Uh, I want to see what the heck happens in the story with how did my parents die and what's next, what's what's there left to explore in the world, what's going on. And then I just want to build up my character more. My character was only level 3, I think, 3 or 4. I was actually really getting to a groove with all those different abilities. I actually was comboing them, concussion shot, uh, and, and see, really feeling like I uh, was doing something in combat first when I was fighting those beetles when I had no idea. Uh, but uh, I'm definitely excited about this game. I think it's a great uh, opportunity for you guys if you're looking for a play to earn game. Uh, obviously, they're doing a giveaway. Obviously, they are uh, still early on. So if you guys are interested, remember, follow them on our socials, check out their website. Uh, remember, the Sunbreak token is not out yet. So if you guys are looking for an early project to invest in or be a part of, definitely check this one out. I'm definitely going to do another update in the future. I definitely want to uh, check out their land sales, the NFTs, uh, being involved in that aspect. And of course, I do want to play more of this game uh, because it's definitely uh, something that's interested me and I was definitely uh, pleasantly surprised. Like I said, I've been looking forward to this game for a while, uh, but actually after playing that demo, I'm even more excited uh, about what's to come. So thanks everyone for watching. Catch you guys next time.